Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgon 111, and welcome to Throw Rock. Um, my friend Alex Diener recently made this game, apparently. I just saw him tweet about it. It was something made in a game jam in under a week. Uh, and so I thought I would just check it out. Pick up and drop rocks with an action button. I'm playing with the keyboard, so that's X, and so I picked up a rock and I can drop it and put it down somewhere else. Hold action button and press a direction to throw. So if I hold down this, then I can throw it this way. And that causes that to break. Okay, cool. This is as much of the game as I've played up until now off camera. Just testing things out. Mouse over mechanisms to see wiring. Oh, interesting, the mouse is involved. Ah. Okay, so I have to hit these two things with rocks, presumably, to open these things. All right. Um, so let's try that. Oh! Uh, okay, there's also R to reset, I know, in terms of controls. And so I think what I just learned is in order to get the rocks over the bridge, if I carry a rock, I'm too heavy. Oh, interesting, and the rocks fly in the air, like, per move or whatever, I didn't realize that. But I had to throw one rock across. Alright. This reminds me a little bit of, in Legend of Grimrock, there were, like, rock-throwing puzzles, and it does seem like the rocks have a finite distance, and so I wonder if I have to throw a rock a finite distance at some point in order to get it to land somewhere. Um... Oh, and yeah, I definitely have a timing element here because this is going to put up this wall, and so I have to cross this before it does. All right, I understand. So I better cross now because now if I wait here, can I wait here? Well, can't really wait, but I can go back and forth. Then I can go in here. Okay, and this gets me to the exit. And I think there's like 16 levels or something. Um, I don't remember what it said on the itch.io page. Um, press wait button to pass turn. Oh, right, there's a wait button. I think I have that as C. Okay, understood. Can I just walk onto a pressure plate? I can. And so I can aim this here, and then I can wait. Okay, so this is teaching me wait, basically. And then that reopens that. Got it. Okay. Okay. And presumably I want to pick up both of these. And then I'm going to throw one of them this way and wait. And let me go ahead and pick up the other one and walk down here and wait. I'm just kind of guessing. Uh, okay, so how? what's the mechanism here? Oh, it's over here. Got it. Okay. Um... So I could just wait, and then that'll land me here. Yeah, I see... I'm trying to think of what game you could be standing on the mechanism and it would pop up under you. I guess, um, Drod, uh has things that are like this, where you end up standing on the platform and then can walk off. So I had a timing element here that I didn't appreciate because I didn't notice what affected this. And it's this. So I have to throw to the right first and then throw upwards, I think, in order to get past this, I think, is what I'm witnessing. Um, all right, so then, so I wanna, oops, I wanna throw this to the north. All right, then I wanna pick this up. And then I think I want to throw it to the right, because if I do this first... Wait a minute. This affects these two. And this affects those two. Yeah, I want to throw this to the right first, and then throw this at the last minute, I think. So if I throw this to the right, pick this one up, and I have to be standing here to hit the other one, I think, so I think I want to wait until when now maybe and then start traveling nope and there's an undo key so if I undo I guess I could have waited one more then thrown this north and then gone yeah and then I can make it okay I get it all right 
Um, once again, we need to inspect the wiring. So yeah, the mouse hover to inspect the wiring. I don't have immediate ideas, but I wonder if there could have been another another interaction to display it. But it's sufficient. So, okay, so I wouldn't be able to carry a rock across all of this. And I have the one rock, mm, but I could throw a rock through here. From this side, I could throw it back across here. So if I want to get across and back... All right, let's just witness what happens to the rock if I throw it here. I think it fell. Oh, did it respawn here? Hold on. Oh no, there was two rocks here. So it doesn't respawn, it just falls in the water. And do I need to do that? If I carry a rock across the bridge, I won't be able to get back. I need a rock to put there. I could throw a rock in here to get a rock to put there. And then throw back and get back, but then I just have two rocks, which is back where I started, and I need three rocks here, it seems like. So how do I get an extra rock out of this? Also, what did this do? Oh, interesting. That box that. Implying that I need to throw from right to left at some point, and the rock is going to travel here, and I need to race it also doesn't seem possible. Hmm. Alright, so I'm not sure what I am missing. Also, hmm. I'm starting to have an idea. Okay, so what if I throw a rock here, then I can travel across the bridge with it, then I could just leave it here, then I could throw this rock down here. It's gonna hit that block and stop there, which means now I can throw it to the right. Yeah, and now I managed to throw a block rock over there, which means now I can do a number of things. For one, I could put it here and now I have access to more rocks. And then, oh, it toggled this one as well. This and this both toggle that. Interesting. So I guess now I have to... Ah, uh, that's the wrong distance. So I guess I have to do this, and I want to do that. And then I never need to come back here, so now I think I can carry this rock here, and now I have three rocks, which is what I needed. Which means I can throw this one over here, go pick this one up. I don't want to carry it across the bridge. Don't do that. Undo is good key. I'm going to have two rocks landing on top of each other, and one of them just destroyed the other. Okay, so that's no good. So I think I just learned a new mechanic. Rocks can destroy other rocks by falling on rocks. It did make a sound, so I appreciate that. Okay, but then I can unlock these things. Okay, that was a rather intricate puzzle to untangle. Uh, but we did the thing. Uh, that looks like a lever. And just pressing up against it, like I'm trying to bump into the side of it, causes it to toggle. It's got its own sound. Alright, and then presumably that gets rid of that. I see. And then down here, that gets rid of that. I'm unclear how I'm going to do that. Also, hmm. That goes too far, so this is just going to throw the rock in the ocean, right? Yeah, so let's reset. What am I missing here? Oh, of course. I can bring the rock out here, and let's go bring its friend out here as well. If I drop a rock on top of another rock, does it also destroy it? Uh, no, it just says, no, you're not allowed to place it there. And I'm still carrying it. Got it? Okay. So, if I want to range this properly, that is incorrect, so I will undo. 
that is the correct range. Which opens this. Oh, and I can throw this left. Got it. So I can do this. Oh, but then I'm gonna have to go hit the uh, thingy to do. Possibly with another rock, which I've already thrown. So I think I need to reset this puzzle because I can't win this race. Oh no, I did win this race. I was thinking maybe I needed to throw a rock to the north, then throw one to the west, have it hit the lever at the right time in order. And I wonder if that was the intended way and somehow I broke the puzzle, I'm not sure. In any case, I did a thing. Um, wowzers. Okay, let's do some mouse hovering. These just unlock the thing right next to them and the levers until I hit things with them. I don't think I can see them. So I'm not sure that mousing is gonna help me at all. Um, and I guess I could just stand on these to kind of witness things happening too. So how do I get anywhere at the start of this? I mean, I guess I could do this. Oh, it's just gonna toggle all the reds and blues. And it toggles the other levers. I see, so the levers have a color. And so it's currently red, which means red is down. And if I hit the levers, then it's currently blue, which means blue is down. So this is, I need to do a series of toggles in order for me to walk to the exit. And so then the question becomes, how do I do a series of toggles? And so, can I walk to any other levers yet, or any other rocks yet? No. I could throw a rock at a lever and get in here, so that's the only obvious thing I see to do right now, so let's do that. Alright, and that allows me to pick up another rock, and what? I can throw it at a lever again. So I guess I will do that and hope that that has helped me somehow. I mean, I moved a rock to a different location. This one has a cracked wall that would get destroyed. Does that help me somehow? Also remind me, that toggles that. Seems to be the only thing that toggles. Um. I think I just saw something back from here that I didn't notice, so let me back up a bit. Back when I was down here. What if instead I had thrown this to the left, and then waited and walked this way? Yeah, and then carried the rock out. Okay, that's what I was supposed to do. Okay, so I got a rock. Right, and then, I, okay, I think I see how to do the puzzle now. So I need to throw this to the left, race in here, grab this rock, although this might be different. So if I throw you here, you're not hitting the lever, so I need to bring a rock in here to throw with me, maybe? That seems plausible. So what if I bring a rock with me by doing this? Oops. Pick this up, bring it with me, throw one rock to the left, pick up the other rock, throw it to the left in order to hit the lever. Then I can walk across here. Then I can throw this rock back downwards and then pick up this rock and carry it back across. And now I have all three rocks, which means what? Which means I could leave a rock here, bring a rock with me, hit the lever, no. How do I do this last bit? I would need to... I can kind of only carry and interact with so many rocks.
So suppose I do this. Wait, wait. I can pick up this rock now and throw it north. But then I need another rock to throw south to eventually exit the puzzle. So I needed to get another rock in here. Oh, could I have gotten another rock in here earlier? Perhaps I could have. Hold on. So suppose... I had done... Not that. Uh, undo. Suppose I'd done this and left a rock there and then thrown a rock here uh, pick up this rock wait thrown a rock oh that's the wrong distance what? no it's fine because it's going to hit the lever thrown a rock there picked up this rock wait it hits the lever there we go Throw the rock downward. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I did it. Uh, is there a level select? There is level select. Um, and I'm currently at level 6 switch, apparently. Okay, that's good. And I presume it's going to like save my game. Um, okay, and I start down here. We'll try to do one more. Okay, so there's wiring. This affects the thing near the exit. This affects the thing near it. And then there's like trap doors, all right. So it looks like the only way to go at the beginning is to just come through here. Pick up a rock. I could toggle this, or I could not toggle this. It seems like, oh. Seems like I gotta toggle this. And I don't think that there's a reason to go back in here, so I'm gonna carry the rock across and drop that trapdoor and hope that I don't regret it later. And then... So... If I were just to throw a rock here, uh, I have to time that at the end, but then also have a lever. Because mm. the lever currently has a blue down. I need the lever with blue down to throw the rock up there. But then I also need the lever with red down to eventually get to the exit. Oh, and there's a lever down here so I can throw rocks at both of them. So I need to get another rock. Okay, and it looks like I have access to another rock. Uh, not super easily, but I think I can make it work. Okay, so I could do this. Uh, wait, wait. Grab a rock. And then I can get it back if I wait here. And then I think I can go get that other rock back as well. So I want to carry this rock over to here because I'm eventually going to throw it to the south. This rock I can just pick up and do a one-way transition here. And then I want to throw this north, throw the other one south, and then go win the game. But the timing is going to be awkward. Which of these do I need to do first? I think it's almost going to be like this. So if I do this, move, pick up, throw north. Yes. Great. I did it. Okay. And so that brings me level select gets me to swimming pool. And if I quit, will it save my progress? Um... I'm going to imagine that perhaps it will. Uh, yeah, and if not, I could always solve these puzzles again off camera if I had to. Um, all right, so that's kind of a short first episode. Um, but yeah, I found the uh, instructions and puzzles intuitive enough, having watched Alex play uh, Drod and seen a number of similar mechanisms already. Um, I feel like that helped give me some intuition uh, about how these were interacting. Um, but
But yeah, this seems enjoyable so far. Uh, as is usually the case for a made in a week kind of game, it seems like there's just this one bit of music that's on a relatively short uh, replay loop, and so I'm getting a little bit tired of the music, but otherwise the rest of it seems seems pretty good. Um, and so I'm looking forward to playing the rest. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Throw Rock. For now, bye-bye.